Hello, Pastor Steve Waldron here at New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia, with a Bearing Precious Seed Bible. Now, I've done a review on their wide-margin Moroccan leather Bearing Precious Seed Bible. It's $50 from the First Baptist Church of Milford, Ohio. You can just punch in BPS or Bearing Precious Seed. It'll bring it up. These guys do a tremendous ministry. Um, unlike the local church Bible publishing, they do send you a box. The local church just sends it cross-wrapped to different places with uh, wrapping holding the Bible in. These Bibles are near the equal of a local church Bible. Uh, I think there may be some type of, of affinity there. There's some type of maybe they're all together. Now, one thing about this Bible is I'm not sure if it's Smith's soul. On the Moroccan leather, it says it's Smith's soul. On this one online, it says it's, it doesn't say, it doesn't say it's not. But I've tried to look, and uh, it looks like it may be, but it's hard for me to tell, really. But it's got the semi-yap edges, genuine leather. I don't know if it's a top grain. kind of feels like a top grain. This is in burgundy. It is sharp. This is a $40 Bible online. It comes with one ribbon marker, high-quality ribbon marker. It says King James Bible 1611. We know it's not a 1611. It is a 1769 Baskerville edition, second folio edition of Benjamin Blaney. But look at the quality. It looks like that could be some type of leather lining. Now, it's not stitched like local church Bibles, but it's still the size of this thing. Oh, man, oh, man. Look at that. It just falls like butter in your hand. It has the real good, the page that uh, helps the spine there. Some blank pages in the front, several. Is epistle dedicatory. It does not have the translator to the reader. Now, this is known as just a hand side. It's not a giant print, but it is a larger print. I'm sure it's 10 point print or larger, but it's light. So it's probably 10 and a half point, maybe even 11 point print, but it's light. I, I don't like the print on here. That's just me, but that's not the giant print edition. It's just a regular great handy size edition there's no notes no references not end references great little concordance in the back it does have a tremendous little concordance in the back see some of those things and then at the very back it has a, a place to write notes which I really like that it has several pages to write notes in the back. So again, I just really appreciate that. Some more blank pages in the back as well. Well made Bible for $40. You just really can't beat it. Probably the next step down from a local church, a small step down. Great grain on the leather. Only one ribbon marker. Incredible size print, but it's not dark print. It's the only thing. But for comparison's sake, I'll put it with my Cambridge text only, which is an incredible size, great carrying Bible. And you can see it's a much smaller Bible. I forget the exact dimensions. It's probably somewhere around 8 by 5. It's just a guess. Semi yap edges. Bearing Precious Seed, hand-sized Bible, reading Bible. First word publications, tough to beat it. So just keep reading the Bible. Have an incredible day in Jesus.